friends welcome to my channel today i am going to explain you about what is operating system and types of operating system and its functions the content is as follows first i will begin with definition of operating system types of operating system and the function of operating systems the definition of operating system is as follows we know that operating system is interface between the user and the computer hardware when an user sends an instruction or a command to the computer that goes through operating system the operating system make that command in a such a way that that must be understandable by a computer hardware once the computer hardware gets the command from the operating system it process it and sends the result to the user through operating system in this way the operating system works as interface between the user and computer hardware when we buy a new laptop a computer or any cell phone we must install operating system without installing operating system we cannot run that device here in this figure we can see that after installation of operating system we can install the application programs once we install the operating system and application program then user can communicate with the computer hardware operating system also has different functionalities it is also used to manage the cpu and input output devices and it is also used for the memory management the few example of operating systems are windows linux ios mac os android and chrome os now coming to the types of operating system it is generally classified into five categories that is batch operating system time sharing operating system distributed operating system network operating system and real time operating system also known as rtos this rtos further classified into two categories that is hard real time system and soft real time system in batch operating system here user does not interact directly with the computer user prepare his job in devices like punch card and submit it to a computer operator whereas computer operator gathers all the job and make that jobs into number of batches the each batch consists of similar types of jobs based on their characteristics and the requirement once the operator submit that group of job also known as batch to the computer then operating system send that group of job or batch of job one after another to the cpu CPU is a central processing unit. In this figure, we can see that initially it takes batch one. Once the batch one is completely processed, then it goes to batch two. Similarly, it processes all the batches. In this type of system, the op the batch operating systems are used. In batch operating system, we can see that CPU is usually idle while switching from one batch to another batch. This is the disadvantage of the batch operating system. the few example of batch operating systems are the operating system which are used in payroll systems in order to generate the salary bills similarly the operating system which is used to generate the bank statements in time sharing operating system we can see that here the user is operating on multiple tasks at same time as in that a user is operating on word and email and he is also downloading some files from web browser and these three applications simultaneously operating on an operating system then operating system combined these three tasks and fed to the cpu cpu process this all the task at same time how it process it it takes the task one after another the cpu first assign some time to the word that is time t1 it assign some time to the email that is time t2 it also assign some time to web browser for downloading some files that is time t3 first is it finishes the task t1 then switch over to task 2 that is email after completion of this task it switch over to next task that is downloading of file from web browser it takes the time t3 the amount of time assigned or taken by a cpu to complete a task is known as quantum we can see that actually the cpu is processing each task sequentially one after another since the switching time is in terms of microsecond the user gets f 
feel of multitasking. In this time sharing operating system, the CPU idle time is substantially reduced. Few examples of time sharing operating systems are Multix, Unix. Now coming to the distributed operating system. Distributed operating system usually uses multiple processors. In this figure, we can see that we have multiple processors or multiple CPUs. These are connected together with the help of high speed buses or telephone lines. These type of systems is also known as loosely coupled systems because the one CPU does not have sufficient information about another CPU. Hence, it is called loosely coupled system. In this figure, we can see that when a task is assigned to this computer, then this computer distributes this task among all the processors. Hence, it processes the task with very high speed. The example of distributed operating system is Locus. Now coming to the network operating system. We know that network is a group of the computer. The network may consist of server as well as client. Usually, the network operating system is installed or reside on the server. We know that server is a computer which is capable of managing the data and users and resources. All the clients usually connected to the server. And the operating system which resides at the server is used to share the files, share the resources. Hence, we can say that network operating system is used in the server. The few example of network operating systems are Microsoft Windows Server 2003, Microsoft Windows Server 2008, Unix, Linux, Mac OS X, Novel Network. Now coming to the real-time operating system that is also known as RTOS. RTOS, it is used for real-time application. Its response time and process time is very small. What is response time? Response time is time taken by a system to get the input and to give the output that is known as a response time. In RTOS, the response time is very small. RTOS can also be classified into two categories that is hard real-time system and soft real-time system. In hard real-time system, the response time is fixed whereas in soft real-time system, the response time is not fixed. It has some tolerance, but it has some deadlines. Within a deadline, it must process it, its task. The few examples of RTOS are RT Linux, VXWorks, Windows CE. These type of RTOS are used the applications like industrial control system, weapon system, and robots. These type of RTOS are also used in the embedded systems and the application the critical applications like satellite now coming to the functions of operating system operating system facilitate these following facilities number one is memory management the os is used for the memory management of primary memory as well as secondary memory we know that ram is a primary memory hard disk is a secondary memory in order to manage these two memory operating system is needed it is also used for the device management that is in order to track the programs and functions of the all the devices which is connected to the computer the operating system is needed similarly in order to keep track of the processor and the status of process the operating system is needed that is called process management in in case of creating the files modifying the files and deleting the files we need operating system that is called file management whereas control system performance it records the response time and it is also used to troubleshoot an applications that is called control system performance. As far as security is concerned, in order to protect our computer or any application, the password protection is required and that is provided by the operating system. We have seen that sometimes there might be error occurs in the applications or in the hardware. In order to detect the error and troubleshoot that errors, we need error detection facility and that is provided by the operating system. The building the coordination between the application program and the user, we need an operating system. At the last, for this for the sake of accounting, in order to keep track of all the functionalities of computer system, 
we need a account functionality that is provided by the operating system. Now it's time to ask few questions to our viewers. Is Android a RTOS? Does Google have any operating system? Please write your answers in comment section of this channel. Dear viewers, I hope that you like this session. If you like this session, please subscribe, like, comment on my channel. Thank you.